Okay, so this is a little bit of an update, but apparently there's a lot more meat to that Hideo Kojima Xbox partnership than I originally thought. Here is the update from, you guessed it, Jeff Grubb. Okay, so the long and the short of it is that uh, Kojima seems like uh, an announcement or a signing is imminent, according to Jeff Grubb of VentureBeat. Here is what has been said on the website and the, the update about the Kojima Xbox partnership. And all of this leads me to believe that this is going to happen, especially after, you know, Grubb basically called the Starfield thing. He was wrong on the release year, but it was very accurately reported otherwise. So here's what they say about Hideo Kojima. Hideo Kojima and Microsoft have signed a letter of intent that states the two parties intend to work out the details on a publishing agreement for a new Xbox game, according to sources familiar with the matter. This is a key step in the negotiations between the Metal Gear Solid creator and the Xbox company. This signifies that both parties have agreed to a generalized deal while lawyers continue hashing out the finer points. So that Nebelian on Twitter uh, broke this down a little bit more succinctly. Basically, both sides are interested to work together if the criteria is met. No indication whether Microsoft will invest in Kojima Productions. The project is cloud-based and the deal is unlikely to fall apart. And as I reported on or talked about, whatever you want to call it, the last time, basically, Kojima's Xbox game will somehow partner with Kim Swift, somehow use cloud technology, and it's going to be interesting to see how all of this unfolds. So, something you might not know about me, but I am a huge Metal Gear Solid fan. So for me, if Kojima was able to come back and work on the stealth genre in some capacity, I would be incredibly happy. Now, I've talked about Splinter Cell and how much I like Splinter Cell, but out of all the genres Kojima could be working on, and I realize he probably wants to do new things. I know he did Death Stranding. I know a lot of people want to see PT, but for me, I want to see what he can do with the stealth action genre. Again, the fact that he's just unable to work on a Metal Gear type game is unfortunate to say the least. It would be amazing if he was able to get that IP back. And I think it, if I had to guess, I would guess that he would look for ways to push the medium forward if he's partnering with Kim Swift and he's using cloud-based technology. If I think back to the, the other story about this, largely it's rumors and speculation, but with the Jeff Grubb update about how he signed with Xbox, how this is now a deal that has a letter of intent involved, it is pretty far along, and I would be very surprised if this fell apart, especially because Xbox is making looking to make strategic partnerships, just as Sony is making strategic partnerships in the field right now. Both companies are trying to offer, offer the best stable of games that they possibly can, and you know, Sony is working to ensure that they stay on top by partnering with the PC port company. I'm blanking on their name off the top of my head today. And they announced the other day that they are going to be working with Housemark, supporting them in a very smart way. Housemark has my utmost respect for the games that they've created. I've talked about that ad nauseum. And now it seems that Xbox may have an announcement of their own about a partnership with Kojima. Now, when would this announcement be made? The only, the only big gaming thing coming down the line that I think they could be working towards is Gamescom. Having Kojima on their stage, having Kojima talking about working on a new project, even just saying that it's a thing that's being developed kind of sends a message because Kojima Productions and Kojima just in general has for so long been aligned with the Sony brand. Um, yeah, like I said, you might not know this about me, but Metal Gear is one of the games that got me back into gaming after a, a long lapse. Metal Gear and Halo were two of the properties 
that brought me back. I kind of took a break during the Nintendo 64 era. And then I came back and I, I forced myself to learn Metal Gear 2. This is when GTA 3 was coming out. And I really, really got back into things. At, during the N64 era, I was playing like, I don't know, I would play Star Fox, Mario 64. But I was really into the fighting games. So I play a lot of Killer Instinct, which, you know, I only had a Super Nintendo at the time. And uh, sorry, I'm going way back. But anyway, the point is that the stealth genre is what got me back in alongside games like Halo. So Halo was why I bought an Xbox. The reason I bought a GameCube was Metal Gear Solid, the Twin Snakes, the, the 3D remake that had a lot of Matrix-y things. Some people criticized it, but it made a lot of modernizations and improvements to the genre. And even to this day, I was I was looking up my copy of Metal Gear Solid 3 Subsistence Limited Edition. That was the red case version of Metal Gear Solid 3. It looks like it goes for like $400 on eBay right now. And the reason that I picked up that version of the game is because it has the NES versions of Metal Gear and Metal Gear 2 on the NES, which were hard to get at the time. I have to imagine they've been released like a million times to date. And my physical copy is from the PlayStation 2 of the Metal Gear collection. I believe the best version of Metal Gear 2 came out on Xbox because it had additional content. The best version of Metal Gear 1 or OG is PS1. Uh, and then Twin Snakes, of course, on the GameCube is the best, the best modernized version. Well, that's the only time it was modernized. So yeah. But anyway, the point I'm trying to make is I... I kind of went on a little bit of a tangent about the type of game that I want to see Kojima develop, but it's a stealth game at the end of the day. Now, I think he tried to differentiate the genre with Death Stranding based on what I've seen of what he made there. But for me, I just, I would love for him to start a new series based in the stealth action genre and maybe make it in the same vein as Metal Gear. Maybe with that Death Stranding tease that he did for the the what executive edition or whatever they're calling it on the PlayStation 5, where he was teasing that Metal Gear box joke or whatever. Maybe that's him saying he is interested in getting back into the stealth action genre. But he did say he would be careful about how he announced stuff, et cetera, et cetera. There has been this whole abandoned rumor. I do not think there's any credence to him collaborating on the abandoned project. I think that's just a totally separate thing. But um, who knows? I mean, if that is a marketing stunt, I would be absolutely shocked. So that's my take on Metal Gear and just a little bit of me talking about why I love the Metal Gear genre. Let me know what you think about all this. Do you think Kojima is going to sign with Xbox? And if he does, what type of game do you want to see him make? I feel like we are incredibly lacking in the stealth action genre. And if Kojima was to come along and make something there, I would be a very, very happy person. Anyway, that's all I have for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this sort of content where I just sit down and talk directly to you on scripted, about the the stories of the day consider subscribing i'm pretty tired <laughs> consider subscribing um thank you so much to everybody who has subscribed this far thank you to jeff grubb for giving me things to talk about i have a few stories lined up and uh in no small part to jeff grubb thank you that means i'll be able to get more sleep Things have been pretty nuts lately. Uh, if you want to become a member, memberships are a thing YouTube offers to content creators. Thank you, everybody who has become a member. Mostly what I've been doing is uh, when I record these late at night, I will upload a ad-free version for all members, and that's what I'm able to do for right now. I talked to Paul the other day. It sounds like Paul versus Destin is going to be back next week. We'll figure out what we're talking about a little bit later on, but I'll see you soon. Thank you for watching. Thank you for all of the kind words over the last few days. I'm going to get out of here. Bye for now, everybody.